It is summer, my good people. And today I'm going to be bringing you 10 of my summer essentials. The weather has been hot, 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 like 30 degrees Celsius, full humidity. My hair, the frizz, the frizz cannot be tamed right now, but I am so happy that the hot weather is finally here. It has been blissfully warm and toasty. I feel like I'm on vacation, but the weather's been fantastic. It's been hot and I've been trying to keep tabs on what things I've been introducing into my daily life to assist in dealing with those hot temperatures. So today I'm bringing you the summer essentials that I have gathered together things that I need in my daily routine for the summertime. Now this is not makeup related. These are other things, some skin stuff, some clothing, some other nibbles and bits, and hopefully you'll find a thing or two in this video that will help you in your summer navigation as well. If you like videos like this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified for when I upload new videos, be sure to hit the notification bell as well. Get a little ding every time I upload a video because just subscribing to a channel thanks to YouTube is not enough. <laughs> so guys, my first summer essential naturally is bathing suits and not just bathing suits in particular. I'm going to be a little biased here and say that it is my collection with the Saltwater Collective. And if you weren't aware already back in June, the collection, the Alana X Saltwater Collective collection was made permanent on the Saltwater Collective website with some select styles. We kept the white and black bikinis as well as a few of the one pieces. Those are now available permanently on the website and due to, you know, some slowness because of COVID and all that, we've been trying to do our best to keep it fully stocked on the website, but you can always sign up to the emails to get notified when your size or a particular style or color is back in stock. But as of June, they are permanently available. So if you don't get your hands on it, it's always going to be restocked eventually, which is very exciting. And today I have a really exciting announcement. We have a new shade coming out, a new shade of the bikini. This is very, very exciting. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, uh, I love it so much. Here's the little baggie, first of all, that the swimsuits come in. It says the little Saltwater Collective and Alana Davison on here, this sweet little pouch. And this is the new shade, you guys. Oh, that's inside out. Sorry, I was wearing it the other day. <laughs> here she is, everyone. This, oh, I just, it's so divine. I love this color so much. It's like a perfect kind of creamy, beigey nude. And I'm so happy with how this color turned out. Now, throughout this entire process, every shade that we've come out with, I've named it after one of my favorite travels in my life. We had the Sevilla, Tulum, Oibifa, Lagos, and this one I'm very excited to say is named Molly. When I was growing up, we always called it Molly, but it's Malé, it has an apostrophe, but anyway, when I was 10 and 11 years old, we actually lived in the Maldives. My stepdad flew the seaplanes there and we lived there. I went to a local school on the main island, Mali. It was many, many years ago. I was probably too young to appreciate it, but it's one of my most cherished memories and like coolest experiences that I had while growing up. And I had to pay homage to, to that adventure. So this very, creamy, beautiful, sandy color. It just brought me back to the beaches in the Maldives, even though it's pretty much white, sandy beaches, but you know, you get the drift. So this new shade is very lovingly named after my experience in the Maldives, and it is only available in the bikini, the, the two piece here. Now this new shade is also going to be permanent on the website along with the white and black. So the three bikinis will be available for the foreseeable future for you. I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on this. And as of today, Monday, consider this a little sneak peek it will be officially live on the Saltwater Collective website on Thursday, July 16th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's gonna be a sweet little nude launch. Keep your eyes out on my Instagram. I will link it probably in my stories as soon as it goes live, but that's very exciting. And this is my first summer essential. My collection with the Saltwater Collective has been such a blast. And I just wanna thank you guys, even though we were a little bit quiet in the month of June, thank you all so much for your support. And I'm super excited for you guys to get your hands on these pieces. This is definitely a summer essential for me. This is the most comfortable and versatile bikini that I've ever had and worn. You don't get too many crazy tan lines in here. It's nice and cheeky for those of you who want to be uh, cheeky with me. I'm actually wearing the white bikini top under the shirt. Turns out that the, the bathing suit top makes a great little 
you know, general fashion piece as well. I am so obsessed with it and I hope you guys like it too. I'll leave the information in the description box down below for you guys to check it out. Sneak peek, new shade coming your way. And this is my first summer essential. Now the second summer essential naturally is sunscreen. And every time I've filmed one of these summer essential style videos, people are always like sunscreen is necessary all year round. And I, I know, I get it, but can you imagine, <laughs> imagine the comments I'd get if I filmed a Summer Essentials video and didn't include sunscreen. It's, it's a necessity and it simply wouldn't be a Summer Essentials video without it. Now I've been using, I have used and I have been using a lot of different sunscreens. I kind of have one for different scenarios, different looks, different things I'm wearing. The one product I've really come to appreciate and we've used up many of them in the past is the Fresh Sugar Sport Treatment Sunscreen. This is actually a stick and it's so amazing for sunscreen touch-ups. You might put like a lotion on your entire face and body and then this one is really nice to just touch up particular areas. For me, I, I use this pretty much specifically on my face or any scars on my body. Um, I have a few pretty pop and scars that I just like to take this and put an extra layer of, but it's so great. It's a twist up and it's this tiny little stick. Dan and I have taken this on many travels. It's super great to just toss in your beach bag, keep it around for touch-ups. It's amazing. It smells so good. I don't think this is available in Canada, but for those of you in the States or anywhere else where fresh is available, it's an amazing option. It smells so good. Doesn't irritate sensitive skin. I love that one so much. The sunscreen that I've like raved about and used previously in many years past is the Drunk Elephant Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense Protection. And I love this one a lot. This is my second full bottle. I've also had a lot of the small, sorry, my voice is leaving me. <clears throat> Anyway, I've used up many of these small kind of travel size versions as well. I loved it so much. It has a nice little warm tint to it. So I kind of used it when I was doing makeup specifically. And this one expired in May of 2020. So that's why I'm not going to be using this one. I'm really gutted actually because it was a full bottle and I had, I feel like I just repurchased it. I feel like I need to pay attention to that more when I, when I buy a product, if it comes in, if it's expiring like a month later, I need to be better about returning those things. But I did, I did use this recently and it completely burnt my skin and I was like, oh my God, why, why is my skin doing this? And I realized it was expired. So I unfortunately am not going to be using that this season. I mentioned this already, I believe in a previous video, but the First Aid Beauty sunscreen, this is amazing. It's a beautiful tinted oil. I love wearing this when I'm putting on makeup looks. It gives you that nice little warm wash if you have lighter skin like myself. Uh, it's SPF 30, broad spectrum, all that good stuff works for sensitive skin, it's amazing. And another one that's actually new to me, I used this the other day when I went on a little a little picnic in the field. <laughs> this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost SPF 30. I love it, it's so great. I love the body lotion, so I was really excited that they had the Hydra Boost face sunscreen. And this is one I wore just on a day when I wasn't wearing makeup and it was great. Lovely one to have in your bag. For body sunscreens, I'm not too picky. Uh, my face is a lot more reactive, so I feel like I have to really do a trial and error whenever I'm using a new face sunscreen. But for body sunscreens, these are the two I pretty much always have on hand. We've gone through so many bottles of these. There's SPF 30, 50, 60, I think they have 45 as well. I really love the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer SPF 30, the Aveeno SPF 30, this one's almost empty. These get a lot of love. These have been to many a countries with us as well. So those are the body sunscreens. I also last year discovered the Caudalie Body Oil Spray sunscreen. It's amazing because you can put it on, be like oily and delicious in your bathing suit. And then it's SPF at the same time. It's not available in Canada. So I actually did use up my last bottle of the body oil and I don't have it anymore because it's not available here. We bought it when we were in France with Caudalie, which is really sad, but I do have another one of their products. This is the Milky Sun Spray. So it's just nice to have a spray when you're sitting like poolside or at a beach or just outside in general and you don't wanna have to fully rub it in. It's just nice to have a spray option to touch up as you're outside. So this is the Milky Spray. This is what I'm gonna be using for the next little while along with these. Whenever we can get our souls back to Europe, I'll definitely be picking up more bottles of the body oil because I love that one so much. So those are the sunscreens, guys. That's my second summer essential. The third summer essential is an after sun cream. Now there are many, many 
after sun creams, lotions, gels, whatever. It's not actually been something I've really thought to purchase before. And it's also not necessary. If you have a really nice nourishing body lotion, you can use that as well. Or if you have an aloe vera plant, you can rub aloe vera all over yourself. There's so many options. I am saying this because this actually came in a PR package from Clarins. This is their Clarins After Sun Refreshing After Sun gel. Now, the reason why I wanted to say that this has been great and I've been loving it over the last few weeks is because this reminds me of the La Mer neck cream. If you guys, I think I featured it in an empties video. Anyway, I had the La Mer neck and decollete cream and I was like, it's the most, it was the most wonderful body lotion, any kind of lotion that I'd ever used. It was so juicy and like, oh my God, my skin just loved it. And this one, feels like that. <laughs> it's like a La Mer neck cream dupe in terms of feel and moisturizing capabilities. It just feels so good. The one downside, guys, it smells awful. It has such an awful smell. Like I put it on and it feels so good and I'm going to continue using it as the summer goes on for sure. But the smell is like suffocating. It, it just has that really old grandma smell and I don't know why that's a thing. Clarence, why did you make it smell so horrible or just have such strong fragrance in general? That's the only downside to this. So like I said, there's a ton of after sun gels you can get. This is just the one that I have and I'm gonna be using, but it's really nice to have that if you've had a bit of a long exposure day in the sun and you just wanna soothe the burn, it's nice to have on hand, so. That's the one I'm using. My next summer essential is a self-tan product. For those of you who are anti-sun, you wanna avoid sun exposure at all, but you still wanna get that lovely bronzed kissedness, uh, having a self-tan option is great. The one I've been using on my face lately has been the Saint Tropez Purity Vitamins. Um, this is the bronzing water serum. This smells so good. It smells so good. It feels really hydrating on the skin and it is a serum. So I feel like you're supposed to put it on before your moisturizer. But before I go to bed, I put on my night cream and then I put this on and I still find myself waking up with a really nice glow on my face. And this one, I am shocked. Like I've used this so much. It's been over a month, maybe even two months at this point that I've been using this and I have barely made a dent. So there's a lot of product in here, which is great. Or like you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. And it just gives a really nice little tint. You just wake up looking glowy. There's many products like this, but this one smells really good. Now the tan I've been using is the Tan Lux, the gradual illuminating gradual tan lotion. And I really love it. I love this because the lotion is easy to apply. I just put it in my hands and rub it around. Now the problem <laughs> with using the lotion is because it's clear. Like when you use a tanner, like a tanning mousse and a mitt, you can visibly see where you're applying the tan and where you need to go over and rub it in a little bit more. The problem with the lotion is that it just blends into your skin so easily that I find I get really, really bad streaks with it, which is, which is the downside. Um, I love how easy it is and I, I think I'm just cursed. I think I'm just not meant to use body self tan because I get streaks and chunks like this no matter what I do. So I'm gonna go with the one that's easier to apply, but just know because it does fly like a lotion, you can't actually see where you're applying it. I'm a lot more prone to streaks because of that. Okay, the next summer essential is something I have mentioned in many of videos in years past, but it is worth saying because <laughs> this is something that I definitely, it's, it's a necessity for me. And that is, body wipes, or as I lovingly like to call them, my vagina wipes. These ones aren't specifically for the, the vaginal vahuginous area, but these are the uni shower sheets. Anna, the Anna edit, brought these into my life when she was here visiting uh, two years ago now. Can you believe that? My God. But this is a biodegradable, really delicious smelling body wipe. And the reason why these are a necessity for me is on previous vacations where I've been in a bathing suit, hopping in and out of the ocean, sitting in the sand, and then getting on a bike and biking home. I get bladder infections. It's horrible. It absolutely ruins the vacation. I have now equipped myself with <laughs> medicine for that when I travel. I have a whole 
anti-bladder infection kit and that includes these so when i'm going out in the hot summer sun i'm really sweaty i sweat a lot it's hot out there's a lot going on down there i make sure that i keep one of these on hand for when i am going in and out of the pool and just it's a little more risque a little more moist in the land oh my god sorry tmi but honestly i i do keep these in my beach bag or just my purse whenever the summer heats around and I try to be really preventative with that and stay nice and clean down there. And that is a big, big summer essential for moi. So if you struggle with that too, keep a little wipe on hand, go to the bathroom and clean yourself up, put it in your pits, whatever. It's great to have just in case. So those are all of the body and skincare related things. I wanna dive back into more fashion-y accessory things. First being polarized sunglasses. Such an essential for me. I am completely blind in the bright summer sun. I try to be really protective with my eyeballs when I go outside. And I have a few pairs of polarized sunglasses that I really specifically drive with all year round, but in the summertime. I always make sure to have them with me when I'm going out and about. This one, Diff Eyewear. I bought these at Nordstrom. It was a pretty random, oh my God, these are so disgusting. Uh, these are some aviators that I have and these are polarized. Usually when you're buying polarized sunglasses, it'll say it like on the display. Sometimes it'll say it on the inner rim, like this says polarized on the inner rim, or sometimes it'll have a P on the lens. I actually think my next pair has a P on them. Hold on. Yes, these are a pair of uh, Gucci sunglasses that I bought last year and on the lens here it has a p for polarized it just makes such a difference it makes you not blind in the very bright sunlight and it protects your eyeballs so those are very important for me i also have my oh my god you guys these are disgusting i don't even know if this will show up like look at how scratched <laughs> The lenses, oh my God, these are what I call my sport sunglasses. Back when I was in Vancouver, I was part of a, a beach volleyball league and it was so fun and I couldn't play a lot because we traveled so much, but I try to play as much beach volleyball as I can in the summertime. And um, these are the sunglasses I wear. These are my sport sunglasses. They're not the cutest things at all, but they really cover my entire eyes and they stay on, which are great. So these are my, these are my sport vibin' <laughs> sunglasses that I bring out in the summertime whenever I'm wanting to do some kind of beach activities. I've had these for years. I think I've had these since 2012. Probably why they're so disgusting. Please don't judge me, but they're great and they still work and yeah polarized sunglasses, get yourself a pair. Let's talk about chafing, you guys. For those of us who do not have thigh gaps and we have thighs that rub together like this and when it's hot outside, it's horrible and I get rashes and chafing and it's just so uncomfortable. I need to wear anti-chafing shorts. So if I wanna wear skirts, dresses, shorts, what have you, I need to make sure that I've got something that's long enough to stop that chafing from happening. There's a lot of like anti-chafing products that you can like rub on and sticks, whatever. I don't like wearing very short things in general, so I don't mind wearing longer maxi dresses, longer skirts, and then wearing a pair of my anti-chafing shorts underneath. If you have other products that work for anti-chafing, that's fantastic. But these I bought last year from Intimissimi, and these are just long underwear, long underwear shorts. I have them in this nude skin color and black as well. And this is what I wear underneath all of my dresses, all of my skirts. I have some long underwear from H&M as well. And then this is inside out, sorry. I also have a pair from TNA. So I always have these anti-chafing shorts, <laughs> biker shorts, long underwear, whatever you wanna call them. If you also have an issue with your thighs rubbing together and being in pain, getting a nice, thin pair of long underwear is fantastic. It'll save you if you wanna wear your dresses and, and have freedom when you're walking long distances in the summertime and you don't want any rubbing. These were such a game changer for me. An absolute summer essential and just dress and skirt essential all year round for me. Speaking of shorts, my next summer essential, I just wanted to mention a few pairs of shorts, like not necessarily things that I'm wearing under things, but just longer shorts in general. I think in a previous year, I mentioned some long biker shorts. I had a pair of denim shorts that were super long and they were really tight. And I just grew to really dislike the tight feeling of shorts anyway. So I've picked up a few pairs this year that I've really come to enjoy. Shorts, ugh, I mean, just linking things here on YouTube is hard because stuff sells out so 
quickly on the internet. It's hard to keep up, but I will try my best to find these, link them up for you. The first pair are these TNA. I think they're called the Boyfriend Sweat Shorts. They have a few different variations on the Erotia website, but I got this emerald pair. Sorry, these are worn. They're actually, I, I pulled them out of the dirty clothes bin. Sorry, I've been wearing these a lot, but these sweat shorts, they're just amazing. I love the color. It's really fun. I've been living in these. They're nice and long. They go past that part of my thigh that rubs together. And because they're loose, they're like a loose, actually they're fleece inside, which is interesting because they're really lightweight feeling. It's a really nice thin material. And these have just been so delightful to wear. I've been living in these everywhere. I love them so much. Another pair that I was really pleased to find were actually from H&M. They have a specific name, but they also have a few pairs of these longer denim shorts. So I got this black pair and I've been wearing them so much. I love that they have an undone hem here. But what I like is that they're nice and tight on the top. They fit me nicely on the waist but they're nice and loose on the thigh. A lot of biker shorts like this end up being really, really tight on my legs, but I like that these had a more flowy, but still flattering feel. On this webpage, when, when I bought these, I'll link the exact ones I bought with a few other options as well, but they had a cream, like white version, and I bought that as well, but it's not the same material. It's not the same fit. The white ones are tight fitted. So these black ones specifically, we're just such a great fit. I love them. They're great. So comfortable. And the last pair that I wanted to show you doesn't actually look like they're that long, but they are. They're the A Goldie D, D-E-E -E, denim shorts. And I picked these up from Netta Porter. They have them on a few different websites, but from what I gathered, they were sold out. Sometimes these more staple pieces tend to come in stock a lot more often, but I love this wash. Just a great classic blue. Again, that, that raw, I don't know what you call it. Is this a raw hem? A cut hem? An unsewn hem? <laughs> yeah, these are great. These are the three pairs of shorts that I have been donning and wearing so much already this summer and this is what I've been what I've been loving longer shorts but still cute you know oh my word I think we're at number nine summer essential number nine uh that's white sneakers for me these are the Everlane uh court women's court shoes I believe listen I have had my pair of white common projects for two years now maybe even longer maybe less me and time, we're not the best of friends. And I have never been able to break them in. I get blisters every single time I wear them. They're nice, like solid, rigid leather. They hold their shape well, but I, I get blisters like you wouldn't believe. And it was so frustrating. So Everlane actually sent me these shoes. They're their leather court shoes and they are the most comfortable, wonderful sneakers ever. Now, for me, I do have a few pairs of sandals that I love, but every summer I always have to break them in. I have crinkle toes. Most people's toes lay like this, mine lay like this. So I've got this like bone that just rubs on sandals so horribly. So for me, summertime and footwear, it's really difficult to find shoes that I can wear that I don't blister in. So I often opt for a sneaker and having a nice white sneaker just keeps things bright in summary. I've worn these to death already. They're so great. They're so comfortable and they're casual enough and comfortable enough, but I find that they still look really nice with whatever outfit I pair them with. So these have been getting so much love from me. Yeah, that's what I've been wearing. That's my, that's my go-to summer shoe. All right, guys, my final summer essential. It's kind of a two-in-one. It's kind of random. Not everyone's gonna feel this way, but this has really just become an essential and a necessity for me that I've been pulling out. This is the second summer that this has rocked. And that is a beach bag and a beach blanket or towel. Dan and I travel a lot. We love to go to beachy lands. We love to just be out in the sun. Summertime is our favorite time of year for sure. And I've really come to appreciate like having my own beach blanket. And regardless of where I'm going, if I'm going to a resort or whatever, I don't like using like my bathroom towel when I go out to the beach, it gets dirty and gross. And then I have to find a new one. If we're at an Airbnb, like we're having to wash that every day. So, so actually starting last year, we've been traveling with our own summery beach blanket. And and I have two here. This one is a little beach blanket that we picked up when we were in Nice in France last year. And it's just this lovely, very light material. Uh, we bring it to the beach. We bring it if we go to the park, whatever, have a little picnic just to lay out. And then this one was actually made for me. Um, it was in a goop. 
a goop PR package last year. It's by a company called Made from Australia, and they did this little embroidered blanket, and I just love this one. I take it everywhere with me. I've traveled to so many different places with it since, and I've, I've really just, we have like our beach bag that we keep on hand, and then Dan and I each take a towel, and that's really an essential for us. It's, it's kind of random, but it's nice to have something separate other than your bathroom towels that are going to lay on like dirty ground and dirty grass. It's been lovely, and I just keep it in our little beach bag. Now this was actually also a PR item. I don't remember who sent it, but this bag was from H&M. And something summary was sent in it last year, but I've used it as my personal beach bag ever since. So I just keep this beach bag, I put my beach towels, sunscreen, my vagina wipes, everything in there, and I just keep this ready to go and out at all times, and I know that I have my essentials in here. So like all my summer essentials, this is, this is the bag that homes it, and I've brought this with me when I've traveled too, like when we went to Spain, when we went to France, brought this little bag with me, and I carry all of my beach needs in here. So that's my final summer essential, just having a beach bag and beach towel at the ready. So guys, that wraps up my summer essentials for you. Those are the few things that I like to have on hand and in use during this hot, <laughs> the hot summer months. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your summer essentials are. And even though COVID is still so ever present, let's try and make the most of the summer that we have. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!